go. Here Hi, we go. everyone. Here we go. Uh, welcome to Fashion Shot with Kat. I have a special guest today. Yes. He's a photographer, ah. a videographer, ah. a, a host of a ah. Music Monday video. videos. Yeah. He's like so many things I'm in the industry right now. It's a bunch of things. A bunch of things. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone, welcome, Eric. The big bang. <laughs> okay, so today I'm the big bang. Yes, the big bang. I'm the big bang. You say I'm big bang, but you know, I'm the big bang. Yeah. What's up? So, what's up with you? What's How up? are you? How did you get into, uh, you know, doing uh, videos and photography? Like, how did you get into that? I mean, like long story short, I used to, I came in the game as a sound engineer. I ran a, I ran a recording studio for 16 years. And then um, during that venture of being a studio sound engineer, um, I started my own radio show. Uh, and then during that venture, I um, I bought uh, some camera equipment because I used to hire camera operators to come and shoot some segments at the show. But it got to a point where people didn't show up. I didn't like the footage. Um, um, I never got the footage. So it just got to a point that, um, you know, I'm like, let me just buy my own stuff mm -hmm. and let me teach myself. And then you realize how expensive it was. No, yo, what? <laughs> camera equipment is bonkers, crazy expensive. But the thing about it is I start to pay the passion for it. Mm -hmm. And it was just dope. And then sooner or later, three, four years later, I'm here talking to you about it, talking about my passion. I've shot for some I shot so many showcases, so many, so many type of events, right. so many interviews. Yeah, I mean, like didn't you just now. do an interview with uh, Mayno? No, 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 I didn't do an interview with Mayno, my okay. homie. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, 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 Phil did interview. I was just in the mix. Oh, okay. Just to keep it clear, you know what I'm saying? But, but, you know. That's, that's, soon, that's, right? that, that's in the future, though. <laughs> you know, made it up. You know what I mean? He looked at the dance. He looked at the Wu Tang one. Yeah. He said the Wu Tang one was his favorite one because Wu Tang is on the quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. That's cool. That's cool. But, yeah, so, you know, that, that's how I got into the game. You right. know what I'm saying? So, I interviewed people like DJ Cell. Mm -hmm. Oh, my so God. So, how was that? Like, when um, you interviewed DJ Cell? Um, that yeah, was kind of crazy, crazy because. because when, when I, I started, started the video, video stuff, stuff, I kind of, I I, 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 took a turn in the sense of I, um, I stopped doing the ra my, my radio show, mm -hmm. and literally two weeks later, I got a call from somebody, and uh, they said, "Hey, Veg, you want to come up and interview, um, um, uh, a DJ Self?" I'm like, "Yeah, no doubt. Set it up." I'm thinking like, "I'm going to it." No, 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 but, but I'm thinking like, "Oh, it's not going to happen, like right. whatever, right?" So then, like two days later, like, "Yo, Veg, come at this time, at this date." And then it did yourself at Power Five. Oh, that's and this has happened like two weeks after I stopped doing the radio show and I went forward like on faith with the whole video thing and that was like a sign. Oh, and cool. then I did an interview with yourself mm -hmm. and that just blew up like 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 in a sense of like my confidence, like like even telling like, yo, that you, you got to get it, you should pursue this. And come and this is from him, mm -hmm. like Power Five, like, hip hop and you know what I mean? So it was, and then from there on, you know, I just interviewed so many people to yourself, the Lord, all And I heard you interviewed um, uh, Miss New Jersey? Yeah, Miss New Jersey 2018. You know I'm mad at you um, right now. Uh, <laughs> why? Because you know I'm in the pageantry too. You could have interviewed Oh, yes. Me. You're what? You're Mrs. Empire State? Mrs. Empire State. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. See, I'll be watching. I'll I, I be knowing. I'll be knowing. But I got you, though. I got you. We're going to set that up. You know, I have to say that on camera so there's other witnesses, so I'm, I'm real with you. Y'all listening, so um, if, if it don't happen, oh, y'all know y'all go to his page. Nah, 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 like, nah. Hey, nah, what nah. happened? I don't need no hate mail. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, I, I, see, I wear the heart down for a reason. You know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, so I did her. Um, so many type of pageant winners, man. Right. Miss Universal. Um, just all types. Like, like, I look at, like, I want to be that correspondent that interviews almost anybody. Like, there can't be anybody that I can't. Right, so you do normally like the red carpet and stuff like that. Red carpet, I do. Have you done any yet, like any uh, recent fashion shows? Um, um, I haven't, I haven't, but um, no, I'm lying. I, I did, I did, um, well, not a fashion show, more like a, um, have you heard of, I'm sure you know Billy Blunt. Yeah. Billy Blunt, he had a, um, he had a, he had a, yeah, he had a magazine jump off, and I was there doing a couple of interviews, so. Well, he has a lot of fashion uh, stuff going on. Shout yeah. out to Billy Blunt. Billy Blunt, like, he's really like, he's doing a king. Thing. Like, he's, he's a king. He's of the so world. amazing. And independent very, too. Guy. Yeah, he's very independent. Yeah. Um, what up, homie? Yeah, he's doing, well. doing big things. Yeah. You know, if you want to be in a magazine, I'm ready. In the by the way, <laughs> by the way, go ahead, girl. Yeah, but um, so uh, tell me, what is your favorite thing that you like about being in the industry? I want to say being the correspondent because just interviewing is my, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying like I just love 
interact and like how we're, how we're doing this interview, like I love this aspect because right. finding out about that person and, and just clicking with them and understanding their story. Because everybody has a story. Right. Everybody has a story of how they got to here. But 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 the thing about it is when you interview somebody, or, or no, not, not even that, is it, 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 when people see somebody and they're like their celebrity status, like a Cardi B or a Master B, like people know them for being here. Right. But they don't know how they got up they there. They got there. The come up. Right. That's my thing. I love the come up. Right. How they got there. Because everybody has a story that, that's going to inspire the next person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the struggle. Because with, with, you know, with, uh, if there, you know, there's no struggle, uh, there's no, excuse me, there's no progression without struggle. Right. You know what I mean? So that, that's, that's the best thing. I mean, other than that, shooting for us. Um, I shoot all the videos that I shoot as far as showcases, the music videos that I do. Um, you know, I love the art. Right, you did a, a music video recently from an artist yes. in Queens, correct? Well, 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 she's actually in Middletown. Right. You're talking about the recent video that I sent you? Right. Yeah, her name is Lady Miz. She's actually in Middletown, New York. Shout out to Lady Miz. 845 in the building, Rockland County, you know what time it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? All my 845 years, man. You know what time it is, man. But yeah, so Lady Miz, she mad, she mad, cool. she's a female artist. She's out from out there. She's doing her thing. She's about to have some drops and be dope. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you follow her. That's L A D I Miz on all social media platforms. Nah, man, I still love. <laughs> uh, I wear all medallion for real. Like, no, I no. represent this whole thing. So you know. So how did you get the name Vets? I'm a better singer. Okay. I've been that's in, cool. I've been in Vets since I was born. Oh, that's what's up. High five on that. Yeah, I've been in Vets since sort of like like 35. I tried uh, being a vegan for about a year and a half. Man. Then I got pregnant and was like, yeah. I need a piece of wah, chicken. Wah, wah, oh. <laughs> I need a piece of chicken. Damn. I need my swine. swine. No swine on my mind. No. Oh, <laughs> man, oh, man, oh, man. So I had to do it. Nah, um, thinking so about going back, but you know, you right now. You know what's so crazy? In the media, there's actually been a lot of uh, vloggers who, who are claiming to be vegan and they've been caught in other countries. Yeah, eating all this eating swine. Meat. Nah, not me, man. Like, I, I stay strict to the, to, to the vegetarian code, man. Like, I'm, a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegetarian. There's a difference. Like, okay. You know, I mean, vegans eat absolutely nothing that, 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 that comes from an animal, like eggs, anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, vegetarians are allowed to, you know, kind of bend things a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very I can't have a vegan, but shout out to all my vegans, though. You know I mean? Shout out to everybody eating their vegetables. Right? That, that that vegan life is a struggle in New York. It, it is. is. No, it is. And you know what it is? It's, it's so hard to find restaurants or anything just, just, just to, to go out and right. eat. And when when you're vegan, it's just most of the stuff you have to cook from home. Right. And it's just a problem of, of it's, it's expensive too. Like you're eating like, organic. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard, but you, know, you gotta kind of figure it out and once you figure it out once you figure out a system right. then everything will just flow and, and, and everything will move whack you know what I'm saying yeah, that's good that's good so what's your next up in coming projects um, I got a, I got a couple of things coming up um, one of the things I, that, that definitely want to shout out is um, I also do artist management um, so I want to give a big shout out to my man Stella Man Stella Man is uh, Oh, uh, no, 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 let me say that. I got, I got too much things under my plate, on my plate, excuse me, like, I don't need no, no more other stuff. And I'm not saying I'm declining nobody, just I want to make sure if I do manage you, I'm going to get the time properly, so, you know, you get your groove right, you know what I'm saying? But, back to what I'm saying, still a message, that's my artist, the MC from, originally from the Bronx, living up in Rockland County, where I'm at, he's got some stuff coming. Um, other stuff, man. I'm just out there shooting, man. Just like doing mad projects as far as like interviews and just a whole bunch of things, man. So just stay tuned, you know, connect with me. Can I, can I plug myself over? Yeah, I was, I was going to get to that later, right. but okay. it's all right. You can okay. go plug yourself. Okay. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. You know what I mean? So <laughs> follow me, Big Vez, B I G V double G, that's two G's, B I G V double G on Instagram. Um, and just, just Google me, man. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's for the culture. Yeah, culture hip hop. Yeah, I see, I see. I mean, we on the Bronx, so it's only right. People right now. I mean, it's only right. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all, show love. Show love. That's all you got to do. Work together. Stick together. I mean, that's how it should be. But you know I'm going to get a little awkward right now. Oh, man. You know I got to go there. You know I have to oh, ask. Oh, man. Here little time go. has passed, but you know what? I still got to ask this oh, question. Here we go. So, with the whole situation, what happened with Oh man! <laughs> right? 
yeah. They had the turtleneck where, you know, it had like the black face or whatever. Yeah, 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 that's that's not cool. Um Prada had like these little monkey keychains. Yeah, yeah. Kids. Yeah, H and M and all of them. And yo, yo, all these brands, yo, all your brands is messing up, man. Y'all y'all need to cut it out, man. Like go ahead, go ahead. Right. So what what is your whole like opinion and how you felt about the whole situation well, when it came out. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, you know, it's wrong because it's like, you know, you, if you say you're for the culture, like, why are you disrespecting the culture? Because right. us, our people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to, you know what I mean? And, and then Gucci, I mean, don't get twisted. I don't, for the record, I don't wear Gucci. I probably never will. Like, like how can I wear Gucci with a bunch of, with 10 million medallions on my neck? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't wear Gucci, I don't wear Fendi or Versace or whatever. Like, but right. but my opinion is I think it's wrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think this respects the you know where we came from. Obviously, you know, like I said, with the you know what I'm saying, black face and all that stuff. Like, right. that's wrong. Like, like that's just disrespectful. And and obviously, my I think honestly they probably did that obviously for controversy purposes, and obviously they got people to talk because sometimes, sometimes bad publicity is could be good could be good publicity, mm-hmm. but, you know, I just think it's fine. So, my, uh, what I'm going to do is, you know, oh, yeah. got to play the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got to do it. The bad guy. I got to be bad guy. The bad guy. The bad guy. <laughs> so, um, we, actually, with Gucci, uh, that uh, fashion show actually came out two years before the sweater was released. Oh, that sweater was already out for probably about three years before. Oh, what? Oh, so, let me get to this shit. I I, I'm getting there. I'm getting oh, there. Man. So the guy who actually designed for Gucci, um, his whole fashion show was out of control. Oh, um, he had first of all the fashion show was in uh, a surgeon ER. Oh. In the middle of the runway uh-huh. was a surgical table. Uh-huh. There was like, like eerie music playing in the background. background. He had some models where they had seven heads where they were walking with. Uh, there were baby dragons. It was just like anything that you could think of out of control was happening through that, that runway show. Definitely wasn't a Madonna. It, no, it was worse than that. It looked like a horror movie, right. time and ten. And it was just creepy all the way around. Like me personally, I looked at that and I was like, he needs help. We need to Espiritu <laughs> Santo him with right. the holy water right, 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 and right. call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, me personally, when I seen that, I didn't look at it as blackface. I just looked at it and was like, yo, he is crazy. What is wrong with him? Yeah. Like, he didn't have a good childhood. <laughs> I was like, what is this? I hope people don't buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. This is also the same fashion show that um, had the, um, the Sega Gucci sneakers. Those are the same ones. Sega. The ones that look like uh, Thanos shoes. Oh, uh, that everybody was like going crazy over and then Balenciaga made their like own version Yo, of it. I'm such a simple cat and I don't wait no man, none of this foolishness, man. Like, yeah. I, so I, it's I, like I looked at that and I was just like, he's just crazy. I ain't even paying no mind to it. So then three years later, oh, everybody's like, Oh, look at this black. Right, right, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like what come yeah. on, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, yeah. Why y'all not? Why are y'all not keeping the same energy? That's what he's saying. That's exactly. What saying. <laughs> and then when Prada came out with their their, uh, like their little monkeys on the purse, it oh. actually came out in China. Oh, China, what's up? The thing is, the reason why it came out in China is because in Chinese like Asian culture, uh-huh. they love monkeys. Okay. It's like their thing. It's oh, like okay. like you know how like little kids like little okay. kitty and stuff like that. Yes, yes. To them, in their culture, the, the Asians, they love monkeys. Yeah. So in their mind, they're like, oh, we're just going to design something yeah, yeah, yeah. for China and how they like their stuff, and then the we're going to get it. But you know what happens? We got the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and it well, traveled. Yeah. And that was the same thing with the whole uh, so monkey, monkey in the Jungle oh, with the H&M. Oh, that man. was actually um, in the UK. What, oh, the man, only thing that, that What's I, up, man? The, like, yo, yeah, yeah what's going on? The only thing that I did not really, really like about that whole situation was yeah, yeah, that yeah. Uh, that was released actually on the day, uh, you know, Martin Luther King. Oh, man. So I was just like, hold man. on. I was like, I get it. Y'all wasn't trying to be crazy because y'all don't yeah, pay attention yeah, to that. Know, but but like, yo, y'all know about MLK. Come on, we're playing like, ourselves right now, so I'm not with it. But I get it. 
Cool as monkey in the jungle. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Listen, like I said, I don't want none of that stuff. I probably never will. I right. If I get rich, what should be when I get rich. <laughs> you know I'm saying? into the future, but like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. I'll probably buy like 20 million more medallions and a couple more fedoras and. You know, you got to be you. Like, that's yeah, the yeah. whole thing. Like, I know a lot of people were upset about, yeah. you know, the whole situation that was happening. But you also got to remember yeah. that they're not broadcasting yeah. for us to buy it. Because if they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, wouldn't be, they wouldn't be doing that. That's true. That's true. They're broadcasting yeah. for a, a demographic yeah. who, who enjoys that. Well, and wants like to buy it. No matter what we say, yeah. whenever, no matter what, you know, whoever says what, you know what I mean? The president can say something, but they ain't going to. Yeah. So when Mayweather went into the store oh, and bought yeah. all that Gucci stuff, Mayweather. how did you feel? I mean, you know what it is too. Like, this is a this is a this is a public figure. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people look up to him as as a hero, as a champion. Right. Obviously, him being undefeated and all this. So it's like people like, you know, you know, it, 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 it's just crazy because like you're in a position to do things to inspire, to um, you know, to lead. Instead of doing the unthinkable. And he did the unthinkable. And you know. Um, yeah, like I personally thought that, you know, they. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, sorry guys. Oh, we got, oh, we got, 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 we got,